Right, there's two phrases. There's Gore-Tex and Gore-Grip. Gore-Tex is a waterproof breathable membrane which repels liquid water but allows vapour to pass through. It's breathable. Gore-Grip is where the Gore-Tex membrane is bonded to the shell of the glove so it won't come out and feels like a natural fitting glove. That's the difference. Hi, Steve here from uh, Gear Unboxed again. Um, if you didn't see our previous video where we reviewed the Nolan N88 helmet, please go and have a look. It could well be of interest to you. Great helmet. Any questions with regard to previous video and this one, please leave comments and I will answer as much as I possibly can. Right, today we have three different gloves. We have the Klim Badlands Long Glove, which is this one. We have the Risha Atlantic GTX, which is this one. And we have the Oxford Montreal. Three good gloves, slightly different specs, different applications, different prices. So, let's start with the first one. Let's start with the Oxford Montreal. It has a waterproof and pre-breathable fabric. It's got pre-curved fingers on here for comfort. It's got a dry to dry waterproof breathable membrane inside. It's got a nice reinforced palm and it, the reinforced palm actually goes up the little finger there as well. So if you do have the unfortunate uh, case of uh, coming off um, it's, and you come down on this end, it reinforcement goes a bit further up, which I think is a good feature. It's got a draw cord here and it's got a, a wrist strap so you can be well well secured and well waterproofed as well it's got uh, a good very solid molded knuckle protection so it's hard debatable whether that's a good thing or a bad thing it's obviously shock could be transferred straight through but for abrasion maybe that's actually quite good it's got stretch panels as i said here for, for extra comfort, like a concertina effect. This is not uncommon on uh, motorbike gloves and gloves in general, to be fair. It has a, a goatskin leather construction and the knuckle protection is uh, to CE1 standard. So nice glove, one I'd be happy to wear. It also has, which is a good feature, obviously an economy glove, but one that's not top of the range. It's got like a little rubber white blade here Obviously, if it's raining, you're out on your bike, it's raining, you don't want gobs of water all over disturbing your vision. Gets to a point where you have to wipe it off and you will find that this works. Um, I had a pair of gloves like this myself. Good feature. So that is the Oxford Montreal. That one comes in at typically about $49.99. You might get it slightly cheaper, but I'm not so certain. Right, the next glove that we're going to be looking at is the Richard Atlantic GTX. This is, uh, as you can see, is a slight, is a shorter glove um, than the previous one, the Oxford one. It's got a mixed cowhide and super fabric construction. It feels good. It's waterproof. It's light. It's comfortable. Um, I've tried them on. I've worn them. It's nice. It's. I would say it's more of a, a good summer glove, to be honest. It's got uh, what's known as a D30 knuckle protector. It's softer, but quite substantial. So it's a different way of, of doing it, really. I think this is probably slightly preferable, to be honest. Um, it also is touch friendly. So if you're using touch screen, you can still use this without taking your gloves off. Useful if you're driving with a, a, a bike sat nav, of course. It has, you see these little white areas which obviously be different colors depending on what color options that there are there's quite a number of them these are reflective 3m reflective is the brand name see it's got gore grip technology it's it's good it's good i don't have any problem with this it's definitely for me that's a good a good summer glove as i said again 129.99 so we've got 49.99 129.99 and then we come to what's known as the Klim Badlands Longer Love. And as you see, it is, it is pretty long. 
It also has, actually on the index finger, it's got the little rubber wiper blade again. Now the general spec on this is, is pretty high. Best way of describing this is it's got a thermal Gore-Tex Gore grip. It's got 60 grams of Thinsulate, a brand named I'm sure you recognize, which is on the back of the hand as well, uh, which I think is good. You can feel that there. You've got the concertina grip, concertina, little concertinas on, on the fingers. It has, you hear the yellow areas, which is reflective again, as I said in the previous video, it's good to be seen. Um, any little, any bit helps, and this is reflective material, Scots light reflective material. Once again, a quality goatskin construction. It also has something which is, I think, quite novel. It has inside, it's difficult to see into, into a dark thing, so I won't bother putting it to the camera, but you actually have a, a like a neoprene gasket which seals around the wrist, which I think is great. It's also got a little loop here to help you pull the gloves on, although I'd, I'd probably just use the edge of the glove, to be honest, and we'll put too much strain on the, on the loop. The knuckles are good, They're definitely good. Got a nice palm overlay. I like the stretch, the stretch is good. The stretch is good on the hand and fingers. It's, uh, this is very comfortable. And as I said, it's, it's smart, smart device friendly as well. Yeah. It's a great glove. It's 265 pounds. Uh, if you've got the money and you're a serious biker, then I think this is a good investment uh, for lots of reasons. Would I pay the difference? Yeah, I probably would, but um, that's me. So those are those uh, three gloves. They've all got slightly different, slightly different applications. If you're in colder weather, and you've got a budget, i definitely go for the, the Oxford. If you've got a medium budget, well, I think it's more of a summer glove, uh, which was the Richard Atlantic GTX. That's a good option. But this one, the Klim Badlands Long Glove, is, I think, very good, and I would recommend it. Once again, the important thing is everyone's got different requirements, uh, different specifications. If you get down to the uh, the biker company in Cheltenham, links in the uh, comments below, you can see that down there, then go and see them. Huge range of product, lovely day out, I promise you. So that's it for now. All I'd say is keep it upright. Do you mean I can't say that? I can say that. I can say that. I've just said it. Keep it upright. Enjoy your biking, make certain you got good gear, and thank you for signing in, looking at our channel, and there's more to come. So please subscribe, please like, and thank you very much. See you soon.